Joe, Oak Pin Company. Today I'm going to show you how to cut a slot in for an oblique flange. Um, first off, I use it do use a bench vise, but I also use what's called a golf club vise. And what that does is that allows you to take a pin, slide it in, and then you can lay it in your vise, clamp it as tightly as you want, and you're not going to hurt it. Um, the next tool, and this is what I suggest, it's called a gent saw. This is a eight inch, is that right? Eight inch crown gent saw. Yes. Um, the reason I use it is stiff spine, doesn't bend, cuts a straight slot. It's pretty simple. Um, let me this so you can see what I'm dealing with. I'm going to be cutting a slot at an angle through the end of this. And that will allow me to have a place to put the flange. I'm in the shop, so there's going to be machine noises and such. So, bear with me. Okay, pretty simple. Lay it in the vise, hold it, and then I start it. And cut a slot. And I do it at an angle. Sorry for the vibrations. I got a camera mounted on the vise. I do it at an angle, so it goes about halfway. So, what I've done is cut that slot, it goes about halfway through, I'd make it a little bit deeper. Um, after that, we'll simply be able to get your flange in there, now it's not at the right angle, so what I'm going to have to do is cut it and trim it to fit one time, one little bit at a time so you don't overdo it. And you're wanting to, of course, line up the end of the nib point with the center axis, longitudinal axis of the pin holder. And you just keep trimming until it, you want to leave a little bit of a gap there to allow for adjustment. And it's pretty close. I'd trim it just a little bit more. So if someone wants to adjust their flange or what have you. And then the other thing I do is I take a drill and I drill in the back side, like right in that area. And I drill it so that a pin, not this big, this is over exaggerated, but I use a uh, 20 thousandths pin. Um, goes through the metal and into the wood. Put the pin in there. Put a little bit of epoxy on the top and your flange is set in place. And then I take epoxy and I fill the top of this gap. And I fill this gap up here. And that is how you put, cut a slot for an oblique flange. Um, again, eight inch crown gent saw. Coping saw will also work. And this is a golf club vise, a rubber golf club vise. It's for uh, putting new, hand, new sh handles on the shafts of a golf club helps out tremendously as far as holding it. And that's it. Thank you.